Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the final day of the regular season Spring LCK 2023. I'm Atlas, joined by Wolf for a very special day. Is it, it is, in fact, Faker's 10th anniversary of his debut. 10 years yeah. of Faker. They also provide us with these really cute little roses. These are from the Faker fans. It's uh, not actually uh, the exact debut day, but we're celebrating it here today because it's yeah. not going to be any other um, better opportunities. So uh, happy Faker Day, everyone. And we'll see whether he's going to be able to grab a victory on uh, the final day of the regular and season. It's a really comment that we've seen some Vagars try to take to get Pryo because it's just not that useful. You're going to naturally have that advantage as we see the Kasten still doing very well, even though he was nerfed. His owner's coming in here. Yeah, uh, Sylvie is going to be able to get a decent Arctic Assault against him, though. Permafrost goes down as Owner in a bit of trouble. Vital just going to dash over the wall. There's the flash as well, but Owner picks up first blood. How the heck did that even happen as Peter steals away the kill? Oh, no, Nongshim, it was almost so good. Yeah. And they do. Okay, Peter, oh, dear. Good Bubble is going to buy some space here for Vital. Vital may ha Oh, they were baiting the whole time. Never mind. The ult is going to miss. But Gumi, she's dead. That's Vital picking up the kill. I don't know how it worked, but it worked, Wolf. <laughs> exactly. Um, Kerry is roaming up here. Call me is up in the lane. All right. The Ignite is going to be used here as a great little shield. And Call me. Oh, just hit by the very edge. Final Spark locks it down. Do with this. It comes mid. And oh well, boy. Here's a Cyclone, and oh my goodness, Vital is taking so much damage. Great bubble here for Peter, but it's going to be another one for T1. Owner's going to lock that one down oh. and to get priority on this Herald. And even though Xeus actually oh, okay. has... okay, Carrier could be in trouble. He doesn't have Flash, remember? That's a great Life Binding for the bubble. Not going to connect as, my goodness, Xeus has all so much damage. And Flash, like, he's coming over here. He's a little bit too late, but I feel like if he's there a little bit faster with that final spark... But the Marlin is kind of on the boat, you know? It's like a Marlin, but the, the, the like, top of the fin... Okay, hold on. All right, Life Binding going to connect here as Ace in the Hole comes oh down, God. and Owner is going to follow up. I mean, it's just... Oh! Never mind! They're able to at least stun up Owner here for a moment. There's just no follow-up damage, really, and Peter is kind of... Uh, 15 plate yeah. game this season, but uh, not going to be doing that this time around. Yep. As Peter... Um, that is that is a lot of damage on the Peter. I think he's just dead. Yep, Faker's going to collect that kill now. Vital. Um, yeah, he really did. Uh, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the show as well. As uh, Dundon, um, we, we kind of haven't spoken yeah, about... Yeah, um, I mean... Yeah. It's just not relevant, unfortunately. He has Blade of the Ruin King, but... He can't do anything. He's not going to beat this cannon in the 1v1. And it's never a 1v1 in this game. It is not. Uh, that's a Cyclone, and uh, Owner is just going to kill the LeBlanc. Clear warts. You can't actually jungle with Sylvie. There's no camps that you can farm. And they're going to set their own trap here onto Faker, but he is a Cassadin. With Merc Treads. As he's going to face check. Okay, there we go. Let's see whether they can chain the CC. He goes golden. Has an opportunity to at least break that stopwatch. Zayas is coming up. As the Primordial Zayas Burst is here. comes on through, and there it is. The Slicing Maelstrom's going to get the triple stun. Peter's going to go down as an afterthought, because the main one they want to take down is Call Me, and he will go. Nongshim, they tried to kill Faker. We've seen it so many times in the past. They were just, just barely unsuccessful. This is T1, like, quintessentially. I yeah. mean, this is crazy. Okay, now you, you can't kill. You can't kill Carrier. Are you crazy? Are you yeah. silly? Yeah, um, Sylvie is dead. Um, Vital throws a culling. It does not do very much at all. It's a pacifist culling. T1 or, or like gonna rip walk, flash the wall, and then we're gonna have our cannon flash engage because yep. we're just ready for this. As Vital has to flash after he went in. Um, Dundun looking for an opportunity, but uh, distorts back. Is what? What was that snipe Carrier? Is it I so mean, hard to engage onto a cannon? Like, this is not the first time this game this has happened, but this time Zayas doesn't have friends. So he is chained CC'd and dies. Doesn't have his ultimate either. Stealth here is actually highest for Zayas in this game, as he's done so much in the lane. Yeah. Uh, Colmy just going to walk on over. Has the Event Horizon, and they're going to be able to get a lockdown onto Carrier. T1 playing a little bit fast and loose and are going to get punished a little bit here by Nongshim. And it's Chemtech Soul again. We really need to have a conversation with Orcs about this. This is becoming an actual problem. I mean, the thing is, it was kind of a problem before he got here, too. This is just way like, too he's much. He's only exacerbated it, as now T1 looking to close in. Zayas not finding the most value with the ultimate, but I don't know where Vital went, but he's dead. And that is going to be Colmy going down as well. T1, they stake their claim 
on this dragon. Baker as Ace wants in the more. Hole takes half of Dundon's Baker health wants more. He does. Celebrating his 10th anniversary here as he will be rift walking forward. He's got a lot of mana. Yeah. Um, Dundon just going to distract him with a clone. Imagine if that was the real Dundon. That would have been <laughs> the, the Dundon thing to do in that situation. No, 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 no. I think what, but it's not even, it's not like a bad thing though. And so like, it's just they want to admire the Marlin that you caught today. And so we're not actually starting dinner just yet because um, we need wait, to hold like on. admire it. That was Dancing Herald Angle. Oh, okay. Wait a minute, Dancing Herald Angle. Vital, don't kill Shirley, don't kill Shirley, don't kill Shirley. Shirley's still alive. Gumushi in a little bit of trouble, or is he? I don't think so. His final spark's gonna lock down the Lucian. Oh my they god. They take down the Nami, and Shirley's diving! Oh my god. Oh, no, 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 In the meantime, Nongshim are also dying, but Shirley. Oh, the Dancing Herald, man. We, that would have been the greatest fish to bring home. Oh, it would have been. It would have absolutely been. As Dindin trying to get some autos here onto Faker. Faker tanking the turret for an absurdly long time. Chains are going to connect, but now it is an exposed Nexus. T1 looking like the Globetrotters here in this game. Absolutely dominant performance from start to finish, but it was a cute idea from Nongshim, right? We it liked was, it. It was interesting to say the least. And of T1, and it will be Keria on the <laughs> on the luck. So steal it away, owner's chance to tie up the POG. Vote. Yeah, no chance now. Carrier pretty good. So Keria solo spot at the top cannot be caught, and uh, pretty zipped, I'd say. Yeah, and uh, that's the highest any support players ever hit. As owner got close. Yeah, Sylvie uh, coming up here, but look who's also coming. Owner is going to be here for the intercept. Yeah, shadowing gets the ward in. And Sylvie gonna have to safeguard his way out, but immediately, Owner is over the wall. Flash comes in, and Warrior Trickster is going to be there. He's gonna die. He is, I think, probably not long for this world, but he's gonna try and trade this one back. Oh, it was way closer than I expected. Gets the thumbs up out of Owner there. Top as whose names start with K? I reckon I'm gonna give it to you. I thought about saying Rich, actually, but he was the one who lost the game, unfortunately. Well, Sylvie is going to find Owner once again. Zaya's gonna move on over here as Dindin. Very low on health, yeah. but very keen to help. You know, he is that guy. That's a flash forward from Zaius. Twisted Advance comes in. Everyone's so low as they do manage to take down the cannon. And the double kill will come in here for T1. Um, I think yeah. it was uh, from one of their very early weeks. It was against Gen.G, I want to say, actually, in the first uh, series that they played. Well, um, Spirit Rush going to be interrupted there as Call Me. He's burning and does get a safeguard shield to save him, but it's not going to be enough. It's be a menace, can claw in. And Sylvie being here alone is not enough. Yeah, this could be just be another kill as Fake is going to come on over. He's got so much health. Twisted advance as Dundun tries to start this one up. Faker tanking for a long time, but he takes the claw. Be as two. the Frozen Thrall is chasing after Sylvie. He is able to still safeguard his a way A somewhat up. negative outcome. And now, this bottom lane that was the one port of, uh, of safety is just going to be eviscerated. Um, Terrell, decent. but... They have a lot of vision here on this bottom yeah. side. Homework has indeed been done as uh, Circle of Frost is going to connect. Call me. Still going to make use of his ultimate here as he's throwing these orbs of deception around. Charm is going to miss. Great little sidestep there from Faker as he flashes forward. And now Ona, he's got Cyclone back up again. And Call me. He doesn't have any more dashes. He just oversteps I in wonder. this moment. Seems like that was pretty calculated there from Faker. Gets on top of Call me. His flash is available now, but too late. Yeah. Sylvie gonna come on over, gets a mini stun on Gumushi into the wall here as uh, yeah, I don't think the Lee Sin's going to survive for too much longer. Wild Growth does come in though, to keep him alive for a little bit, and there goes Gumiyushi. Sylvie actually surviving here as Vital, starting to pop up with the bubble. Just gorgeous there from Carrier, and it's all going to go wrong. Ebbing and flowing towards this bottom side of the map. Q is going to miss there as Ona just stops position, and Faker is looking for even more. Yep. And oh, poor Peter. Peter might actually... He's channeled this for a while. Well, the bubble oh. is, yeah, still going to land. And T1 with a mini wave uh, now just going to be able to take down the Lulu. Carrier, I believe, was tanking up that turret as well to make sure that Ona was going to be absolutely safe. Beautiful dive. Down on this Wukong is okay. Well, Zeus is dead. So they do manage to get that one. Ona coming on in here, but he gets charmed up. Can they actually manage to get a kill back? Decent placement there of the sapling is now Dundon. He might be the sacrificial tree, but Faker says, no, we're taking more than just that. And it's a two for one. Fights. As watching how this all happened, it's just Dundon catches him here, roots and then follows up with the ultimate. And Sylvie is coming up very quickly with Ari. So Call Me comes over. 
and they're able to get him under the turret here. Just bought enough time for that. Yeah, cooldown. exactly. Um, and they have to be quite nice um, and not too expensive. I hope he's not a witch. I wonder how much he weighs. <laughs> uh, Dundon gonna find carry here as Frozen Tomb comes down. Faker held onto that cooldown from before. Decent little kick there, and because he used the Frozen Tomb on the enemy, oh Faker, that was gorgeous. He now flashes, and he should Stop die, watch. but he's got a stopwatch as well. Dindin gonna be taken out, and there's the flash forward from Ona. Kumiyushi will find his way into the fight, and every it feels like every time Faker dies, he's taking the rest of the enemy team with him. Oh, Over the so wall goes. Guma gets himself the Light Slinger passive, and despite the fact that the Q lands, it's not gonna be enough. Kerry is just bubbling everyone. And uh, T1, uh, yeah, and I hope that the same can be said for Nongshim, and I hope that they tell us as such uh, later on today. As Dindin going for some last-ditch effort here, as can they get the kill on Aguma? They do manage to take him down. Dindin lasting for a really long time as well, but the Cyclone is going to spell his doom, and now the trigger is pulled by Pikachu! Oh my goodness! Ash really is a great trainer. And uh, yeah, <laughs> Zayas just going to obliterate them. Faker goes in, he's got his onions, and that's going to buy the space for Owner to lock down that kill. Frozen Thrall is going to zone out Peter, who just looks for his friends but can't find them. They're gone. 7 0 11 on this Wukong. I think that Owner is going to get another POG tonight. Peter, the last to fall, and T1 in their final game of the regular season. We'll take out Nongshim, end with a perfect round robin here. 17 and 1, dropping only the game to Hanwha Life Esports in round 1. An otherwise perfect season for our number yeah, one let's seed. Let's take a look at the POG here for game number 2 and see who does pick it up. It will be Faker after oh. all. He bought the Magis, he got his lanes very far ahead, helped out his jungle, was just kind of everywhere on the Lissandra, and it wasn't